Welcome to TechBrother the Nomer. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect to BigQuery and read data from BigQuery table and uh, write to the Azure Blob storage in Azure Data Factory. This is the third time I'm making this video. There are some uh, issues I was facing. And one of the things, the title was wrong because I was thinking the BigQuery connector can be used uh, to read and write. Uh, so that was not right because uh, uh, you can't really write the data to the BigQuery, but you can read uh, in the Azure Data Factory. So anyways, uh, I'm going to demonstrate what is written uh, right here and uh, this is a uh, pretty much 100% correct. Uh. Now first of all uh, I'm going to take you to the Azure Data Factory here and show you what you need. Uh, so if you go to manage here and uh, go to the integration runtime uh, you will see I have a self-hosted integration runtime uh, running. Uh. If you don't know what is self-hosted IO and how to install so I have a video on that one just uh, look in the playlist and you will find it I will put in the description as well. Uh. So you need uh, the self-hosted IO uh, to uh, make this work. Um, now we are going to go to the author here and then follow all the steps from there. So I'm going to create a new pipeline. In the pipeline uh, we are going to use the copy activity. Remember we want to read the data from a BigQuery table and write to the blob storage. So our source is going to be BigQuery. So I'm going to go to source here, click a new and search for a BigQuery. Okay Google BigQuery right there and now we have to create a new linked service. I'm going to leave this name as is maybe or if you want to call this LNK or something and that is fine. Your choice to so follow the naming convention that your company like. Now here remember we don't need to use the auto resolve integration runtime. We will be using self-hosted IR. So that's the name of self-hosted IR in my case. Now it is asking you project ID. So you will go to the Google account and then go on top of it and see all the projects you have. In my case I'm going to use the tech Brother IT project. I copy the ID of it and then I'm going to paste it right here. Now it is asking additional project IDs but I don't have anyone so I just want to use this one. Now in the authentication type we have multiple of them. We can use service authentication and user authentication. I'm going to go with service authentication. Once I select the service authentication it asks me the email of that account so I don't have it. Let's go and create that account. Now we go right here. I'm going to click uh, on uh, this uh, navigation menu and then uh, I'm going to go to the IAM and admin. Uh, then I'm going to choose the service accounts here. Once uh, that's selected, you can provide your service account name here. So create a service account. Let's give a name. Uh, so we will say BigQuery or uh, actually let's call it the ADF uh, uh, SVC. Okay, so because we are using in Azure Data Factory, so I call it ADF SVC. Now we will go ahead and say create uh, and continue. And here uh, I would like to provide some permissions. Uh, I'm going to search for BigQuery. And uh, once I search for Big uh, Query, it is uh, giving me BigQuery admin, BigQuery data editor, BigQuery data owner, and all that. I'm going to go with the very much all the permissions in administrator all BigQuery resources and data. That's not a great uh, permission to give, uh, but in my case, this is just a demo. So select accordingly what you need. I'm going to hit to continue here, and it's going to create a service account. Uh, hit done. Our service account is ready and you can see the, the right there SVC, ADF SVC that's the email so I'm going to copy this bring back to the Azure Data Factory here just paste in the email now it is asking you key file path so that's uh, the key we have to create um, so we are here uh, right here in front of it we can uh, go to the actions and then uh, we will say manage keys uh, so once we are in the manage keys, uh, we have to add the keys. Um, so I'm going to create new keys. There are two types of keys it can create, JSON and uh, P12. I'm going to go with the JSON. P12 is also acceptable in Azure Data Factory. But let's keep it uh, simple with JSON. Now this is uh, downloading this uh, file for me. So I'm fine. Let's go to the download folders here. And uh, in the download folder, uh, we have uh, this uh, file just got created at uh, right now. So if uh, you, I will copy this file and put in another folder. So I'm going to go ahead and put in this folder. And, uh, and there was another key I just created uh, before the demo. I'm going to paste right there. Um, let's call this, uh, uh, I will call it uh, GCP SVC key. Okay. So that's the name I gave. Uh, now 
this key, remember that we have self-hosted IR and I was telling you like you need to have self-hosted IR. This is where this key has to be placed on the self-hosted IR node. In my case, I have installed self-hosted IR on my laptop. That's why I'm providing or copying this file on my laptop here. But in your case, if you have created the self-hosted IR on Azure VM, you need to take this key and uh, put in C drive or D drive, whatever you have there and then uh, provide the path. So I'm gonna copy, so this is the path on your self hosted IR where your GCP key is uh, available or you have downloaded. Let's go back here and uh, go to the data factory and the key path. So I'm gonna go right there and then uh, uh, provide actual name. So GCP key, come on copy and dot uh, JSON. So we will be fine here dot JSON. Okay, so we are all set here. We can test our connection and it should be successful. Our test is successful and we are all good here. We are gonna go ahead and create our linked service. So our linked service will be created and now we can go and take a look on the tables. So it's trying to extract the list of the tables. So I'm gonna show you tables first. So here I am in the console.cloud.google.com and I'm in the BigQuery. And once I'm in the BigQuery, I can see the table list. So I can see I have a data set called DS Postgres. Then I have a employee and public customer table. If you want to see just the definition of them or something like that just click on three dots set open and then uh, what's this gonna do it's gonna show you the schema so you will see the schema so these are the list of columns you can see the details here you can see the preview of a data here and um, furthermore information is there but I don't think so you need this all our goal is to read the data and write to blob storage um, so maybe I use the table employee to extract uh, I will go back to data factory here and uh, then uh, hit on the drop down and uh, you remember we have two tables and the uh, data set is the uh, postgres uh, employee and the uh, public customer let me select the employee uh, employee uh, table from the big uh, um, query okay now hit okay here and uh, now we need the sync here if you want to preview the data that's okay you can go ahead and click on preview data it's going to show you the data available in your uh, table not all the record but few of them Okay, in our case, the records are small, like we have only five records showing us all. And now what we are gonna do, we are gonna go to sync here and create new sync. I'm gonna select the Azure Blob Storage here and I would like to write the data as a CSV file. So I'm gonna select a CSV file there. Now I will create a new link service or you wanna keep the old one, that's fine. And here you will select your subscription and then the Blob Storage. Now we call it a Azure Blob Story 2. That's fine. We will use as is. And the next part is we will provide the container. I have output container and that's what I'm going to use here. So select that one. Let's provide the name. So we call it BQ employee and the dot CSV. And that's the name of our file. I'm going to hit none. Don't extract anything and all that. Just leave as simple and uh, now we can go ahead and debug it's going to read the data from the bigquery table and then write to the csv file in the blob storage that's what it is going to do so it is uh, the pipeline is queued let's refresh it should go in progress and uh, then uh, if we refresh a few more times and maybe in 10 20 seconds it will be all done in 19 seconds it has written uh, five records uh. so you can see that this is the uh, this is data it read uh, and uh, you know uh, that's all it is it is very simple we don't have much information here i'm going to go back here and uh, go to the blob storage let me take you to blob storage here so if you are on the home page here go to the blob storage tech browser right to blob storage and then uh, we go to containers right here and once we are in containers we are going to see the output to container right there and now what you have right there, BQ employee, that's the file we were actually um, writing. So edit and you can see that we have first name, last name, salary. And these are the same record of what we have in the BigQuery, exactly same. So this is how you will use uh, the Azure Data Factory to read the data from the BigQuery table and write to blob storage or other uh, uh, destinations. Uh, I thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.